Hello guys, it's Coach RJ. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through a band workout, full body workout. Uh, I'm going to include two exercises for, uh, for body part. Hope you enjoy it. Alright, so the first one we're going to start out with a good old chest press. So you're going to take a little step back. Uh, Make sure you do a posterior tilt to engage your core. So it looks something like this. Engage it, right? You're going to put the band you can put it around the pole like this or uh, anything that you have available at the house or in the gym. Make sure your wrists are straight, take a step forward. So posterior tilt, chest out, chin up, push, bleed out, engage that chest, come back to 90 degrees, nice and slow. I like to focus on a one, two tempo. So one, two, hold for a second, one, two. One, two, one, two. So that's one. The second one you can do is you can isolate. So you can press all the way out and you can isolate back, left and right. Same thing, make sure you're focusing on breathing. One, two, the one second hold. Get you that nice little chest pump for your next workout. For the second exercise, we're gonna work on that back. So you're gonna take a little step back, just like this. Make sure we tuck those hips in. Pulling straight back towards your hips. Make sure you're breathing out on the way back. So breathe in, back. Breathe out, focus on squeezing, just like this. The second option you can do, you can isolate, you can do one at a time. Same thing, focus on that one, two, one tempo, where you're going one, two, hold for one, one, two, back. One, two, hold, one, two, back. 12 to 15 reps, focus on engaging that core, engaging that back, and being in control of the whole uh, exercise through, through entire range of motion. The next exercise we're gonna hit is the real delt. So we're gonna hit some shoulders. So hold them straight like this. Pull back, squeeze the upper back. Make sure you keep your shoulders down. So breathe in, one, two, squeeze. One, two, one, two, squeeze. Just like that. And then you can also do something like this. So your shoulder press nice and wide. Keep it right in front of you, wrist straight. Again, tuck that core in. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna transition to the lower body. Next, we'll save the biceps and tricep for last. So the next one, we call a uh, sissy squat. So you're gonna put your uh, foot through the loops. Make sure the band is behind your knee. We're gonna take a little step back. I like this one because it kind of gives me that control of, 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 of my reps and my range of motion. It's almost easier for me to squat. That's why I get to call it sissy squats. All right, so if you're gonna be nice and straight, we're gonna push those knees out just slightly so we can get those glutes engaged. Again, tuck that core in. You can have your hands in front side, whatever feels comfortable for you. We're gonna drop low, hold for a second, come up, nice. We go one, two, hold for one, one, two, just like that. Now, to hit those hamstrings, we can do something very simple. You can use the band like this. Knees slightly bent, we can do a stiff leg deadlift. Chest out, knees bent. Feel that stretch on your hamstrings. Come up, squeeze the glutes, everything engaged, under control. All right, so the last thing we'll do is the good old biceps and triceps. So this one's very simple. You're gonna take a step in. You can go as wide to make it as difficult as you want to or narrow, a little bit easier. Um, have it in a, a flat on, on, on um, on your palms like this, get that chest out, engage it. With this one, a lot of people I tend to see them kind of go inside, don't let it, try to keep it nice and straight. So chest out, tuck that core in again, and I'll keep repeating myself. We're gonna go up, squeeze, down. So again, that one, two, one, one, two tempo is crucial. One, two, one, one, two. That way you're in control. And for your triceps, good old kickbacks. Hold it just like this. Take a little step back. You can hold it, hold it flat like that. Um, I like to kind of wrap it a little bit this way. So um, uh, I take a forearm out of the out of the um, question as much as possible, so I can isolate those triceps. Take a step back, bend forward, elbow tucked in right right on your rib cage, like this. Kick them back, squeeze that tricep. Kick them back, squeeze that tricep. And obviously you will do one side and the other side and keep moving on. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that uh, short little video. If you have any questions, please uh, drop a comment uh, under. Um, 
If you want to see more of these workouts, please let me know, and then I'll, I'll get them out for you.